Uh, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Orbit Mazivisa Show. My name is Orbit Mazivisa. I am your host today. I am so excited to be hosting a great man of God by Dr. Tumi, uh, an, an international star all the way from South Africa. Uh, it is a, a wonderful, wonderful night. Invite somebody, tell somebody that we are on, we are here. And we are going to be talking with a man of God. I'm here with him in the studio and we're going to, to, to be ministered to. It is an opportunity to get ministered to. It is an opportunity to, uh, to, to, uh, to be ministered to, <laughs> to hear the word of God and to hear the news and the updates that the, the doctor has. Uh, it is a beautiful day. I'm going to bring him in, bring him in in a second. But what you can do for me, share the broadcast with somebody Tell somebody, write in the comments there that you are here so that we can know you are here. All those that love the music of Dr. Tumi, please uh, share somebody, tell somebody that we are live on Obed Mazivisa. Obed Mazivisa page. We are live on Obed Mazivisa YouTube, Obed Mazivisa on Twitter, from wherever you're tuning tuning in from. God bless you for tuning in. If you're watching later than now, it is great. It is great. I can see uh, Mr. Dance, which is right there. That's my man. That's my manager. The, my boss. When he speaks, I jump. Welcome, Sam. So tell somebody, invite somebody. I can see the numbers are increasing, which is a wonderful thing. Welcome to the Orbit Mazivisa show. We are in the studio with the doctor. I'm not going to waste a lot of time because some people have come on time and they want we want to make use. Uh, Priscilla Mato, wow. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, thank you. I see you there. Timothy Nguenya, wonderful promoter in the UK. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for you. Liz is here. And all the way from Swaziland. Is it Swaziland or Lesotho? Nancy? Wow. I have got it right. My doctor, uh, Priscilla Mazamba there. Thank you so much. Olivia, another artist all the way from Zimbabwe. Nyamu Kuvengu. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. That's an artist all the way from, from, uh, from Zimbabwe. If I see you, you make a comment. I'll, I'll go back to you. I'll talk about you. I, I know what you do. Liz, all the way from South Africa. God bless you for joining in. Now, let me bring in the doctor. Doctor, doctor. How are you doing, sir? I am doing well. How are you doing, sir? It is indeed an honor to have you here. <laughs> uh, right. My little intro goes, uh, goes something like this. My little intro goes something like this uh, to people. Dr. Toomey is an, an award, I'll say a multi-award winning gospel artist or singer and worship leader, an amazing songwriter. His music speaks life and healing to the body, the mind, and the soul. He writes songs full of God's words, songs that speak about the grace and the love of God. His goal with his music is to make people realize how loving and how merciful God is and how much God's grace still abounds today. That's his mandate. Doctor to me um, has got over 38 million views on YouTube. Over 38 million views on YouTube. He's got other views on Facebook and others. So I'm just talking on YouTube. And um, if you go on, on his YouTube channel, which you should do today before the end of the show, subscribe there. 178,000 subscribers on YouTube. I want you to understand that one of his uh, most viewed video, which is my favorite, you are here, he's got 8.7 million views. And I'm talking, this is an artist from Zimbabwe, ladies and gentlemen. Um, on Facebook, he's got 1.3 million, right, over 1.3 million followers on Facebook. 215,000 uh, followers on Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, we are graced by greatness. We are graced by a great man of God. The works and the numbers, they speak for themselves. That is me, Dr. Tumi, introducing you. Who do you say Dr. Tumi is? Because I speak of numbers and facts and the things that we see, which is the result of your work. So who do you say Dr. Tumi is to people? Well, greetings to everyone that's joined us in this evening. Such a privilege for me to be with you, to join you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mazivisa, to 
for having me on your show. It's such a great privilege. Again, um, well, Dr. Tumi is um, a very simple, God-loving, born again husband, father, and um, I am a medical doctor, and 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 of course I'm a music minister. And uh, my purpose in life is really to speak. Uh, the love of God to people so that they may know that we serve a living, loving God um, and to give hope and uh, to encourage people. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm very, a I'm very simple guy. Very chilled. You'd be shocked at how I live my life. <laughs> very simple, very simple. I I stay in Centurion in the falls of the Houghton province in South Africa. And like I said, I'm married. I've got three boys, uh, three amazing boys, 13, 8, and 5-year-old uh, that are owning the house. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 I love traveling. I love meeting with people. I love ministering. I love um, um, the opportunity God grants to really just impact other people's lives. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, question about you. Yes, you are a med medical doctor, but you are yeah. a gospel artist. What happened here? Did how, 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 do, how does the two work together? <laughs> I like how you asked the question. What happened? <laughs> I didn't expect it. I don't know what happened. I think. <laughs> I think it's, it's really um, God's calling. Um, right. You know, when you are doing something else and God wants to, to get you to do something else, hmm. it, it comes with with some emptiness in other things. Right. Until right. you right. walk into what God wants you to do. So I was doing medicine uh, for a while and it started feeling like there's something missing that I'm not doing. And, right. Right. And, and that was my in, God calling me into uh, our music ministry. So I'd say, I'd say uh, it's more a call right. uh, to be ministry. And uh, that's what happened. Uh, it's, it's a call. So you are actually saying when you are in the medical school, that's when you then discovered that you've got this call. For, for, for being a, a, a songwriter, worship leader? I'd already been writing and, and, and been leading in, in the student movement. I, I was not a recording artist, but it, it proper became evident to me um, when I was already practicing medicine. Uh, um, I was already in private practice. I completed my studies. Mm -hmm. I completed my internship and done my community service, and then I went into private practice. When I was in private practice, that's when God started speaking to me that this is what we need to do. And of course, I did a bit gradually because I started in music and I was doing both at some point. Mm -hmm. I tried to balance that out, and and uh, until music ministry was all I have time to do because it was difficult to balance the both at that point. So. I do 95% music ministry, probably uh, 2 to 5% medicine at this point in life. Okay. Uh, you, f f to us, you're just a guy who came from nowhere and all of a sudden you're at the top. Uh, uh, but when you're talking, it seems as if there was a little journey or did things just work out like that? You just went into the studio the next day the song is all over the world uh because it, when i'm looking at you that's exactly what happened the next song i'm hearing this doctor to me where did you come from all over the world is, is doctor to me doctor to me everywhere so was there a process that you went through or god just say for you my son i love you more than everybody else today i ordain you <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, no, I, I think there's a process to it all. You know, God, God is very intentional. He takes you through steps, phases to make sure you're ready for the next step. 
Uh, I think if he, he, he jumped steps in our lives, we might actually end up, you know, messing it up. So he takes you through the process to make sure that you're ready for whatever step he's taking you through. So I've been doing music for many years, stopped for many years. And when God called me back to do that, I got in, started. I truly think it's just God's grace for you, for one to be able to do what they're called for and then succeed at it. But also, uh, uh, when God calls you for something, he already has empowered you to be able to do it. So it's just been God's grace, really. And, and, and truthfully, took us through the process uh, of growth. Uh, it was not overnight. And it looks overnight, but uh, it was God's. There was divine speed, though I must admit, there was divine right. speed attached to it because God did it quickly, and and the growth was was actually exponential. So um, grateful for that. But all all of it was just God's grace. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, one thing that that I saw, I see a lot of artists that are logged in today that are watching, and probably a lot of them that who would want to hear what Dr. Tumi said, would want to know, how does Dr. Tumi write his songs? They are so on point. It's like he knows what to say. He knows how to put words together. What do you do? What happens? Does that God just give you like that? Um, songs are from the word. Like, I, I, think, I think if you're going to write songs that are meaningful, you're going to have to go to the word of God because that's where you will get content. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that we must speak the word of God because that's where life is. Everything else is just our own stories. And but if it's not driven or inspired by the word of God, it is it is useless. It's just another love song. It's just another uh, uh, inspirational song. Exactly. Um, but but if it is uh, if it is from the word, if it's driven and, and and inspired by the word, you can tell that the word of God is. Is central to what the song says, and and people then quickly connect to it. But then again, the word of God gives life, so that's where the life comes. It comes in the fact that the word of God is in the song. Uh, it's not even just about the song itself; it's about the word that's in it. That's what gives life. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I, I'm also learning, and I'm sure other artists have, are learning from that. Um, uh, if we want to quickly go into uh, the UK. You've been in the UK before. Uh, yeah. When when you came, you didn't record live. Uh, we'll, yeah. get, we'll get to, to the reason why now this time around your recording in the UK was different. And um, can you just tell me the, the, the process? Why now? Why are we recording in 2022? Well, 2022 for me um, has always been earmarked for uh, uh, writing and releasing new content, and mm -hmm. uh, when the opportunity to do this in the UK came came through, I thought that would be a a, a beautiful experience to um, um, to have a different crowd uh, in attendance as opposed to what you'd have locally here, because you you generally have the same people coming uh, to to the shows here, and yeah. I wanted yeah. to an audiences draw out of you. Like well, whoever you stand before, draw out of you, and I believe we could have a new, new theme, new flavor, new sound coming out just by recording in the UK. You know, because of the audience that's there, uh, uh, the reception they would have, and so um, also I believe it's just what God is leading us to do to do something like that and do it there. Um, and and again, I look forward to everyone that's coming there being part of that. We'll be writing a couple of songs, working on those that I believe will be meaningful even to people who stay in the UK, uh, and they'll totally connect to them, and 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 we can we can create a sound that's coming out from the UK to the rest of the world. And that's 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 awesome, <clears throat> and thank you so much for that because I know Doctor Tumi's songs will go to millions of people, so I had to buy myself a VIP ticket so that I'm in a position where the camera can locate me and so that I can... <laughs> yeah, you must be the please, 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 make sure. So, one of the things that many people that come to the UK, um, what they do, most of them, 
they'll come just the artisted probably with these producer of two pe two three people and then at the end of the day we don't really get to get that experience of what we see in the video it's there's a bit of a difference because you recruit here and our voices are here our voices are all over the place so are we gonna have the real full doctor to me experience that we see are you coming with your whole team are you recruiting from the uk uh for people to help you what is happening no so so i'll be coming with my entire team so i'll be bringing all my musicians bring my entire band vocalist even an engineer to come through so you will get to really experience what we we do when we when we do it here uh, and and there will not be shortcuts to this it's, it's it's months and months of works of preparation that we'll be doing in preparation for the recording uh, um, we're starting our session as early as january i'm busy working on tracks that i'm writing now for 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 the uk and we'll be working on those for the next couple of months doing our pre-production just preparing for the recording itself and and of course um, having the entire team there is part of the whole experience because um we're able to just flow and flow and 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 of course part of what we will do apart from the new songs we'll do some of the popular songs over the years so that people can just enjoy that as well so again it just makes it easy to flow with people that you work with day to day so exactly uh, i think it's going to be an amazing experience it's going to, uh, it's one for the books right for the next minute or so uh, so that i remain a good friend with people i just want to mention a few people's names uh while while dr to me is can hear your name you know you never know you can you might start to sing like him <laughs> <laughs> let's hear the names <laughs> uh, i'll start with denzel denzel is the young man who manages me and he's a bass bass guitarist is an md very good young man to work with uh we've got um a priscilla mate said says salibo nani doctor to me uh Timothy Nguenya uh, is, a, is a promoter here, here in the UK. He does his shows every Sunday and on his page on Facebook. He's also a singer. JB Lab, we are here. Uh, <clears throat> not quite sure who this one is, but thank you for being here. All the way from South Africa, actually. Uh, Timeless with Samantha. Samantha, uh, there's a young girl who, my niece basically, who has released a new song recently. Samantha says, Shalom, Dr. Tumi. Uh, Priscilla Hello. again. So very true. We can't wait. People can't wait, Doctor. Uh, so true. His songs are full of words about God. I, 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 it's not just me who's wanting to please you here, but it is true. Your words, your songs are the word of God in music. And uh, that's Liz, Dr. Our Bishop, brothers, Hakuna Ndawa. He's one of the powerful bishops here in the UK with the powerful ministry in Sheffield. Uh, hopefully, I know he's going to come. Emily, Emily is a singer, powerful, anointed worshiper. Uh, says Dr. Tumi is Zimbabwean. <laughs> is Dr. Tumi Zimbabwean? I don't know what Emily is saying. It's rooted. Her name is Emily. She's from Zimbabwe. She's half Zimbabwean. And she's half South African. She, so she wants. She wanted to uh, to be sure. Are you Zimbabwean? She's calling me Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a beautiful country. <laughs> I'm South African though. But, but, but I guess we're all African at the end of the day. So uh, yes, sir. Zimbabwean, uh, Nigerian, uh, uh ethiopian wherever we we want like uh literally what so i'm zimbabwe awesome. well. <laughs> uh, she she then says she loves your music anyway i don't know if there's anybody who doesn't like doctor to this music it's just cool you know matilda take she says shalom she's a singer she's an artist here in the uk all these people you see them on the day uh uh pastor yeah, steve yeah uh, our, our our guy the rainbow guy pastor steve is there uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I won't finish you all, guys. Just, I just want you to know that I love you. I saw Apostle Dr. Berry, the president of AFM here in the United Kingdom. Uh, uh, Prophet Marufu is here. Yeah. Everybody, thank you. My young brother, Benjamin Rupapa, all the way from Zimbabwe. Elias Masamba, he's a worshiper, man of God, pastor. Thank you, everybody, for, for coming. Woo, right. We want to, to, to come to the end. 
how many albums have you done so far, sir? So uh, we've released five albums. Um, I just finished a new project, which is um, essentially a a Thanksgiving album, um, which I'll be releasing on the twenty fourth of December, hmm. uh, just the day before Christmas Day. Um, it's a it's a beautiful rendition. I invited uh, some of my musicians to come through to my home and we recorded something at the house here. And it's just pouring out our hearts of Thanksgiving. Very intimate, very uh, 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 stripped down so that everybody can hear everything. So we'll be having that uh, available on the 24th of this month. Um, so that will make it six. So this there's lots of music to, to release. I've, I've recorded so many albums, I've written so many songs, I've not been able to release uh, most of the music. So we're working on different things, but yeah, so five going into six albums now. Like, like I said, there's a lot of artists uh, that are tuned in. They might want to know, who comes up with the concepts? You know, the concept, how you do your videos, how you do song arrangement and all that. Is that all in your head? Is that why you are a doctor or there's somebody else who does that? I generally work out most of the stuff and then of course I have a team that I work with and then I'll, I'll rope them in and I'll tell them what we want to do and then they'll throw in their ideas and I work a lot with my wife actually. So, uh, but I, 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 I believe that God gives us these ideas so that we can execute them for the benefit of the body of Christ. So uh, we try to do the best we can to make sure that they're well executed and um, so a great team that we work with always. Um, I write and produce most of my songs, not actually all of my songs. I do have co-producers that I bring on board on different albums and so on. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's all part of just building this one uh, um, project, which is Project Love. Project Love. Awesome. Awesome. Um, we we will end very soon. What are the chances that you could sing for us one of your favorite songs, or which one is your favorite song? Which one is your favorite song if you've got any of your own? I don't have a favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle. I struggle with. I, I I I have a couple of songs that I've been working on. I unfortunately am not plugged in, but. If I were to sing any song, um, there's a song I wrote a couple of years ago. I'll do just one line of this song. And it says, it's by the grace of God that we are saved, the gift of God, who pay the price for our sins, not our works, but Christ. Christ died on the cross. That's grace, that's grace, that's grace, that's grace. Your grace is sufficient for us, so we stand me. A shot of the love that it can only be you. His strength is made perfect in weakness. When I am weak and I'm strong, I am strong, I am strong. Oh, that's grace. Yeah, that song is called Grace. Wow. Uh, it wow. speaks about God's grace. It's by the grace of God that we are saved. That's what it says. Um, it, it is a gift of God who paid the price for us. And it's not our works. Amen. But Amen. Christ who died on the cross. That's grace. It's sufficient for us. That's why we stand there. We are assured of that love that it can only be Him. His grace, Amen. His strength is made perfect in weakness. When we are weak, we are strong. That's great. Yeah. I, I, was, I was talking to <clears throat> Pastor Steve and I was saying, uh, um, because we've got this language when we say, uh, please come and support us. Uh, in this instance, I don't think people that are coming are coming to support us. When you come, you are coming for yourself to be blessed and to be ministered to. And yes. this is what I believe, because just now, in few seconds, just little words, just that song, 
I could feel it starts starting to minister. And if you are there, you are listening. Um, that was our, that was my interpretation. This is not a way of just come and support. We are not saying come and support Dr. Tumi. We are saying come and be ministered and your life will, will never be the same. So if Dr. Tumi was to tell somebody who is in the UK or who will be in the UK at that time to attend that uh, live recording, what would be your words, sir? No, I think I think it is so important to come together as God's children. Uh, it will be a time of great fellowship, and I believe God has a purpose for bringing us to the UK together with other fellow saints. You know, and um, everybody that is coming, I am I am certain that God has a as a purpose, as a mission, has something that he wants to do in their life on that night. And it will probably be a night they will not forget. It will be a turnaround night. I believe that God will heal people, deliver people, restore lives. And I'm, I'm excited and looking forward to having each and every one of you coming through to that night. I, I can assure you it's going to be one to remember. Uh, I am trusting God. We're praying about it. We are working on on the uh, music and just to prepare ourselves for that just to make sure that when we do get there we will do our best and we trust in god that he will do the rest and and that's touching lives that's transforming your lives so come through come through come pe be part of what i believe will really be a turnaround night like i said and i'm grateful for the pastors or the bishops or the ministers who tune in um white people from your churches would love to have each and every one of you come through um, um depending on how long we'll be in the uk would love to visit some of the churches uh, as we do that just to fellowship with you and um absolutely excited to be coming through and and i look forward to seeing each and every single one of you before we finish, uh, uh, Doctor, I'll, I'll, I'm going to ask you to minister to some people who are tuned in uh, and maybe pray for someone who might be in a, situ in, in a situation. Uh, but before you do that, I just want to encourage, uh, maybe I might twist a little bit and maybe I, I believe that Pastor Steve will allow us to do that. If all these artists that are tuned in today, they buy VIP tickets to attend the show, can we get Dr. Tumi to come and speak to us for five minutes, just speaking to us and having a, a, a what, do, what do you call it, a selfie with Dr. Tumi, with all the artists that are in the UK, especially all the artists from Africa. Is that possible? Yeah. Can I can I write that down? Is something that might happen? I, I, would, I would love that. I think, I think we'll talk about it. We'll talk about perhaps even having a, a, a workshop of sorts with some of the musicians, uh, see what collaborations we can work on and, and just get together and see how we can empower each other. And and, and, and I believe that we, we are meant to uh, complement one another and, and to create opportunities for one another. So uh, it would be lovely to really just meet up with everyone and could, we could have a moment heart to heart and, 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 and I trust that God will, will impact our lives through each other that way yeah so let's do it let's there you go. let's arrange for that let's arrange for that there you go guys a, a workshop with dr timmy i i just as just a little nuggets here but just imagine if we were to have a whole session with him emptying himself to us uh you know there's imputation and there's learning uh, you can only develop and become better by learning so Everybody interested in recording or not recording, get a VIP ticket ASAP before they run out, get an early bed ticket before they run out so that you are there and then we'll organize a seminar or workshop where we can be worked on. Man of God, I want to leave you here to just minister to people. Uh, I know that your, 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 your songs are the word and most of the times as I can guarantee that each song is a sermon that you can actually preach. So if you can minister to people, just open your heart, just be free, speak to people, speak to the lives of people. And we guarantee people that on the day, 
on the day there's going to be the presence of God, there's going to be power. That feeling that we have when we listen to Dr. Toomey's music is going to be in United Kingdom, Birmingham, Piccadilly, uh, Banqueting Suite. So let me leave you time for this for the next five minutes or so, if, even longer if you can, but I just want you to minister to someone at this time. Thank you. Well, there's a, there's a portion of scripture that really blesses my heart that I want to share with you today. In the book of Joel, uh, chapter 2, verse 25, and God speaks and says, So I will restore the earth. And I know that for a lot of people, it has been, it has been such a trying time. It's been, it's been such a difficult time. The past two years have been loss, loss of loved ones, loss of income, loss of jobs. It has just been marked by loss and loss and loss and loss. And a lot of people started feeling like, you know, they're in a position where they, they, there's nothing to live for. There's nothing to look forward to because of the loss. The truth is God is faithful even during times of loss. And you know how even when it was dark in Egypt, there was light in Goshen. So as children of God, we should still, in spite of the fact that it might look gloomy and dark in the world, we must remember that in our kingdom, things work differently. The God that we serve is able to, to come through for us and give light even in seasons of darkness. He's able to uh, uh, bring breakthroughs when everything else looks like it's broken down. He's able to uplift when everything else seems like it is shattered and, and hopeless. And God is able to bring us to an expected end, the Bible says, you know, and, and that expected end is a, is a place of victory. It's a place of success is a place of health and wholeness and wellness and wealth and i know that a lot of people might have been feeling discouraged and disappointed and you might have been feeling that even those that you loved are not being able to support or be there for you but i want you to remember that it is it is god it is he who makes us he's he who keeps us he's, it's him who is able to sustain us and bring us to that expected end and he promises in his word that he will restore the earth. The restoration is centered around everything that is lost and broken. Whatever you feel like the past two years have, have cost you, whatever the past two years have, 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 have taken from you, whatever you feel that you are not able to do because of the pandemic, because of all the lockdowns, because of all the restrictions that all these uh, uh, regulations came with. I want you to know that God is able to restore and he's able to restore all the years. He's able to restore every single thing that you have lost. It doesn't matter how much you might feel it is, he's able to restore. So be encouraged and know that uh, uh, even as we go into the new year, I mean, we, we're closing off 2021. We must look into the new year and, and think of it as a years that have gone past and look forward. We press on, we press on and to press on looking forward into a new future into a new year and i wish you the best of 2022 in god and i pray that 2022 will be a year of restoration in your lives let's pray father we give you praise and we thank you for you are the god of restoration our hearts are open wide to you to receive from you to trust you even in trying times we put our minds and our thoughts and all our being and we, we center ourselves in you. We, we come to you as our God, as our Father, and we ask you, God, to carry us through even these remaining days in this year, even into a new year. We pray for, God, what you have planned for our lives to manifest. I pray for anybody that is discouraged, let your love and your hope just rise up in them right now in Jesus' name. Everybody that might be feeling suicidal and feeling like it's the end, I speak life and the life of God that cannot be stolen. And I pray that God, everybody that has been going through sickness and disease, that your healing power, your healing virtue may proceed right now and get into their bones, heal them and, and let them God fully recover in the name of Jesus. We thank you for financial breakthroughs in everyone's lives, Lord. We thank you for victory, which is certain. We give you all the praise in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, and we thank you for it is done. Amen. I love you guys, and I wish you a beautiful, beautiful evening. God bless you. It's been an honor to have you, sir, and we're looking forward to have you in the United Kingdom. 
Uh, we are expecting nothing but a wonderful time in the presence of God where lives yeah. are going to be changed and be transformed. We love you here in the United Kingdom. We can't wait to, to hear from you. You can see the comments there. People love you, sir. People love you. Love you. Love you so much, friend. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the churches. Thank you for all the saints. Truly, truly, truly appreciate, appreciate all the prayers and for supporting the music. And we do this because you are part of our journey. And I appreciate you so much. God bless you. You're awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. That is a doctor, international uh, gospel superstar all the way from South Africa. And uh, it has been an honor having you here. And we are looking forward to host you here in the United Kingdom for a wonderful live recording uh, in, in Birmingham, that right in the heart of the United Kingdom here. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. If you're going to be watching this after today, be blessed. We know you'll be blessed. Don't miss this live recording. Go on Eventbrite. Get in touch with Rainbow Entertainment and make sure you've got the right ticket. You've got all the information that you're looking forward to. I want to emphasize that Dr. Tumi is coming with his full team. He's not going to do shortcuts. The sound is going to be on point. You heard him. He's bringing his own sound engineer. So the real experience, the real uh, Dr. Toomey experience is what we are looking forward to have. It's been an honor having you here, sir. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. May God richly bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you.